How many of you agree that man is an intelligent creature? Well, yes, I think man is a very intelligent creature. If we see the evolution of man from the Stone Age till the date, it's a very interesting process. To satisfy the basic needs of food, clothing and shelter, man has always put to use all the resources from his surroundings and made his own life very comfortable. And in doing so, he has very carelessly exploited all the resources, very ignorantly depleted them and on one hand, while we are facing this crisis of materials, on the other hand, we have generated this enormous amount of wastes and we don't know what to do with this. The growing population demanded more and more homes and so what initially started as a shelter for protection has now evolved into this robust grown construction industry and it has become the backbone of the economy for the world. During this process of our development, what we humans have done, we have created an impression on the nature in the form of pollution, global warming, the greenhouse gases, the wastes, and this construction industry alone is said to be contributing to almost 30 to 35 percent of the global greenhouse gases. Why? When for years we have been building with cement, sand and water. While cement is a, this manufacturing of cement is a very energy intense process. It consumes lots of energy. It generates pollutants in the air, in the water. And the sand that we use, it comes from the riverbed. It damages the ecology there. Surely you will agree that water is a global crisis today. When I was still practicing my interior designing about uh, say 12 to 14 years ago, I also faced many of these difficulties. Even the operational and the technical challenges in the construction. And I always wondered what it would be like to have a, a magical solution, something that would, you know, simplify this construction process and reduce the impact on the nature. Way back in 2005, my husband Pradeep and me, we both, sheer, out of sheer passion for running an industry, we started this company Green Build Products. We were manufacturing paints and textures that were used in the construction. And so to promote these products, we used to go on the sites and demonstrate and make the client buy our product. And I remember this one day when we were visiting a site. We were climbing up to the fifth or the sixth floor. We were accompanied by the site engineer and uh, this guy seemed quite frustrated. Obviously, he was climbing, I think, for the 13th or the 14th time with us on the same day. He had been climbing it more number of times earlier. And so while we were climbing up and reaching the sixth floor, what we could see was a typical scene that we all must have seen at some point of the other. I'm sure you all must have seen the construction site, ongoing site, at some point of the time, isn't it? What we see is a lot of mess, cement lying around, the sand lying around, water, the puddles, the mess, a lot of material being moved from one place to the other, the ladies shifting the loads and the men mixing some things and building the walls and plastering and so on. We also saw this and we almost had to carve our way out, you know, to reach where we wanted to go through these puddles. And suddenly this uh, site engineer, you know, he yelled at someone 
इन इज हिंदी ए क्या कर रहा है तू वट आर यू डूइंग तेरा सुपरवाइजर किधर है यू तू पानी इतना क्यों मार रहा है वट एवर यू वॉज यू नो ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट वॉट दिस पीपल वर डूइंग एंड फाइनली वेन वी रीच दिस सिक्स फ्लोर टू सी अवर प्रोडक्ट्स ही टर्न टू अर्स एंड सेट मैम कांट यू फाइंड सम सोल्यूशन इन दिस so much of mess so much of work so much of supervision it's really difficult so it started triggering something in my mind was there an easier solution i don't know i think that was a turning point for us i had started started catching some points some pain points in the industry that may be the industry would appreciate if were addressed and so with my technical team we all started working in our lab at that point of time we really did not know where we were heading to what we did was we did lot of brainstorming sessions and we gathered wastes from the industries the by products the recycled products we got, gathered them we processed them and we came up with this wonderful solution of waterless construction yes we practically evolved or developed a technology that could help you to build the walls without using cement sand and water what we could do we could build walls we could plaster we could rework we would do patchworks what not whatever required in the industry it was like a eureka moment for us you know we had found something something amazing and having known this that we have something we thought it was time to test before we could put it in the market so we went to a friend of ours he was a rcc consultant a structural engineer and an expert in the building products when i went and showed him this he was surprised he said do you know what you have done i really did not have a fair idea i just knew it was something good new helpful he said my dear shilpa you have created a revolutionary product still i was perplexed looking at him what exactly was revolutionary he said i'm practicing for so many years and i don't have i've not yet seen i don't know any such product in the world which you know can help you to build without cement without water without the sand without mixing you have simplified so many things now before you go ahead with anything else please meet this gentleman do what he says i just saw across on the sofa there was this gentleman stand sitting he was a patent attorney so i realized he was suggesting that we, sh we should opt for intellectual property rights it was very encouraging we simply realized that we have developed a innovative technology which the world has not yet seen has not yet witnessed and that was very encouraging so then we decided now it's time to project this to the world show it to the world we can build the walls without water without cement and so we started looking out for some opportunity uh, how i got my first project is a very memorable event for us we call it a wonder wednesday why because it was a wednesday when we got this opportunity we got to know about a new site which was upcoming in pune we went there we talked to the engineer we explained him with lot of passion you know how beautifully we had developed this technology and how interesting it is and how much it can save and while i was talking i just found this engineer he was looking at us very weirdly as if you know we had just landed from mars and we were talking of Uh, something we were kind of aliens talking a different language which as an engineer he was just not able to relate to he said young lady what are you talking do you know what it is this is a serious business we are engineers 
वी डू गुड बिजनेस वी डू सीरियस बिजनेस ये 420 गिरी यहाँ पे नहीं चलेगी नो फूलिंग अराउंड नो फेकिंग अराउंड यू आर टेलिंग मी टू कंस्ट्रक्ट वॉल्स विदाउट सीमेंट विदाउट सैंड प्लीज ही ट्राई टू श्योर्स अवे आई थिंक आई हैड रियली शॉक्ट हेम टेरिबली एज इफ यू नो आई वॉज टेलिंग हेम टू कुक बिरयानी विदाउट स्पाइसिस you know build walls without cement and sand cook without cook a biryani without spices i still try to pursue please try this it's a new thing no he was just not ready he suddenly turned to both of us and he asked are you two guys engineers we said no we are not engineers he laughed sarcastically and made a comment no wonder you are talking such foolish things do you know for years years we are using cement and sand and water how can one build walls without water or without cement it's not possible please please don't waste our time don't do such things we were bit nervous we didn't know what to do but i think it was a good day for us a lucky day because the site uh, architect was passing he was a senior guy he saw us talking something i think he had heard a few things from our talk and he told us it's okay i'll be visiting the site next week again on the wednesday if you are really keen if you think this can work demonstrate let's see what happens and so we demonstrated this project and we got this first project of hotel sayaji can you see this project on the screen on your screens this one immediately almost immediately in the next week we got this project hotel orchid which is standing exactly opposite to this product to this uh, site we were almost on cloud 9 having two big projects on hand in our pocket we thought now we could conquer the world simply go out tell the people these are the two projects being done with waterless construction system now why can't you build you can also build so we started thinking yes now we have come up with this technology and the world is going to start using this and soon the entire world would be building walls without water but nothing of this happened we learned a very important lesson at that point no matter how innovative you are no matter what you come up with changing the mindset is something that is very very difficult and our first and the biggest challenge then turned out to be breaking the mindset of course after a few days with few more efforts definitely this technology started gaining more and more momentum and we had number of clients demanding this as they started understanding how easy this is how useful this is it was addressing so many issues there was nothing to do no mixing no supervision nothing what we had developed in this waterless construction system was a simple two step system open the material it's supplied in a wet mix form simply remove the material apply and forget only two simple steps so what happens is when you remove the material and apply it spreads as if you are spreading a cheese spread on the bread you don't have to mix anything no pre mixing no pre wetting no post curing no supervision no maintenance no wastage and everything done from the wastes when we had a number of clients after this to name a few soba developers from bangalore lnt godrej and many more corporates who started using this materials even then of course we sometimes had this incidents when pradeep would get a call from the site saying sir 
ये दीवार तो गिर गया यू वॉल हैज फॉलन एंड वी वुड रश टू द साइड टू सी दैट डिस्पाइट ऑफ अवर सेवरल वार्निंग्स आफ्टर अवर डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशन पीपल वुड स्टिल नॉट कम टू रियलाइज दैट इट इज रियली पॉसिबल टू बिल्ड विदाउट द वॉटर एंड सो दे वुड गो एंड क्योर द वॉल्स एंड ऑब्वियसली द वॉल्स वुड नेवर सेट एंड दे वुड फॉल we had to redemonstrate now after building so many walls so many projects we started comparing them and what we found was very amazing what was happening by building the walls with this waterless construction system of ours we were saving almost 50% of labor 50% of time reducing the carbon footprint by 60 to 70% and saving 100% water how well this is based on the evaporation or the drying technology unlike the cement which works on hydration what it means saving 50% 100% what does it mean let's say we take example of a uh, 1000 square feet of a apartment a two bedroom hall kitchen an indian home say measuring up to say this die size then to build the walls to build this home if we do it with this waterless construction system we would be saving 78000 liters of water which would be sufficient for drinking satisfying this drinking requirement of 19500 people for one day we would be saving around 8 to 9 metric tons of carbon dioxide what does it mean it means say the emissions of around 800 bolleros for one day and we would be uh, saving the sand 2400 cubic feet of sand after so much of saving we think we have achieved quite a lot but no there is something more to be achieved many more issues need to be addressed still a major part of construction that is the concrete part it is being done with cement and sand and water and i think inter interventions in these areas would definitely be desirable and i think we would be working on these areas henceforth to see if we could have some participation in this as well what i would like to know from you is how would you think it would be like to build up sky scrapers henceforth which would maybe demand only so much water as we use for washing a car could we build up a sky scraper with such a little water that you use for washing your car on a daily basis well i think if we could achieve that then definitely we would be successful in saving as much water as we need and using it for the human beings rather than for walls and for constructions thank you friends